Well, hello everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play, episode 187 of Tunity Town. Here as you see, the name of the game, Arotopia. And I believe this episode we will finally will complete the game. We've got to just activate this, but first I'm going to have a quick run down my companions. Is there anything new to say? I don't think there is, but I've not listened to these ones forever. Okay, I kind of want you, me to speak to them. I believe I'm only 16, everyone's higher than me. Yeah, and a powerful one here. Hey, Finder. It is good to see you. By this point, I've usually been passed off to someone else for more training. Okay. What do you need? Nope. Nothing to say. Are you? I can't remember this, but seriously? Try to get Bart's attention, but you cannot find the strength to lift his head and register your presence. His helmet is downcast, the iron around his eyes and mouth corroded into ragged slits and lack any of the form of evidence. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to help you find um, your armor, wasn't I? Oopsie. Let's be off. You still with me, Bart? I had to kill Cashin. He didn't give me a choice. Bart, let me off. She in a heartfelt thought fashion. Oh, nah, I don't want you to come with me. Try this again. Still with me, Bark? That mate is sleeping. Maybe it's a good time to pry from the iron shell to carve claws into skin and lick willing blood trails. Yeah, go for it. Tremors passes through his armor. <laughs> Separated from awareness, it strikes you as the jerking reflexes of a dead nerve. You can't even tell a bark is awake under his rusted shell, much less still alive. So you're completely useless in this whole thing. You heard a choked sob under his helmet, but it goes silent just as quickly. <laughs> I have questions for you. His head moves to the left and right, a pattern of refusal that might be nothing more than a loss of focus and coordination. Stand at attention! His shoulders slump even deeper than before, Bart's knees lack the strength to support his heavy frame, and it seems to take all of his remaining willpower just to stand upright. <laughs> Useless. Well, you can step away first, touches your arm, and looks at Bark with concern. What's wrong with him? I see you with a plea in her eyes. His arcan is dead, I don't think he's handled it well. Jin nods, her hands strained to the hilt of the blade at her side for comfort. First looks away, find it difficult to look at Bark's depleted form. Blood together, big guy. I know you're strong enough to make it through this. She quickly draws her arm across her nose and shakes her head with sorrow. In spite of his infirmity, you can tell that there is still strength left in Bark's limbs. He may even mumble a choice word at times, but they will be nothing more than the echoes of a lost man. Like I said, you're useless from the start and you're useless at the end. Yeah, is it just you two, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, I guess it's time to activate the edict. The wave of energy and radiation from the spire draw you forward, pressing your body and mind to its eager embrace. At the centre of its tide, the result of stands ready to broadcast your voice, echoing your commandment to the farthest reaches of the tears and beyond. From here, the highest point in the present film, you could, you uh, you could, with the sum total of your effort, project your will far north, past the edge of the tears, and proclaim your edict as far as the lands of the Northern Empire. Turn to your com companions. This probably amounts to a declaration of war against the Overlord. Ready? To your companions, any requests? <laughs> Torch the resin and concentrate. Touch it and concentrate. Mutter something gently. Test the request. I am the last aircraft standing in the tears. It's time to send word to Karos. The conquest is complete. Affirm your lord to Karas and send news of your successful conquest to Overlord. Relax for a moment, ponder the situation, step away. Hmm. There's a war in Overlord, ready? So this is it. We've come a, a long way since edging ruins. I never before this. I was nothing important. Once call it Karas, killer among thousands. But we're really doing something here. Thanks for letting me tag along. She turns to the edge of the spire, avoiding your gaze. Following your progress has been, well, one of the great pleasures of my career. You've shown yourself to be something greater than even I expected. I had rather self-indulgent fantasies of being the primary authority on the world's most fascinating figure. I'm eager to see wherever this takes us, my friend. These women in oh, houses of kills and shadow have slaughtered many tough challenges and fight for survival. Have hunted archons and ripped ravaged whole armies. In Kairos was in tears land. Shadow Hunter would tear out human Prima's throat. Wow. Consume fear flooded heart. Nice. Sent more humans mangled bones. Alpha 2 would do the same. Thank you. I get a match. Beginning of new season of time to hunt human called Overlord. Yes. 
Can I say I slaughtered many tough challenges and fight for survival. I hunted Arkat and Ripstone. Was in Tears Land Shadow Hunter or Tear. So she called me the Shadow Hunter or her. I think it's me, isn't it? Beginning in the new, what was this? The last surviving Shadow Hunter hunches on all fours. Oh, it is her. Her back archives head through from back to full end as she howls loud enough to shake tears. So she's classed as a shadow, but she said her too, didn't she? Shadow hunters will tear out human premise throat, consume fear flooded and sent March human Michael Balls. Alpha two would do so oh okay. So she's saying she would and then the alpha that's me would do the same. So you see enough time to hunt a human called Overlord. If I don't show Kara's my ability to cast edict is more than a one time thing, the attacks will never stop. This will be an opening strike. Perhaps the tears will conquer the Northern Empire. Sparrow waits your command. Okay, please work. Please work. It'd be a little anti automatic for the whole game then. Nothing happens. <laughs> Region to view its current edicts or issue a new one. Sparrow management, edicts. Okay. I only have two. Unknown edict, unknown, unknown. So I didn't get to work them ones out oh, well. The fire, 500 power to eat it. The fire uh, brings the energy of fire to large regions of the world. This generates incredible heat, sometimes flame, as well as strengthening the powers of magic. <clears throat> Stone, magical energy from the sky, a living creature storing in the rocks below. I think this one. Boom. I wish I had these a lot. 15 to all magic skills, 15 to frost damage, convert to health. Potions, enemy effects, 15 to magic skills, and quickness. Do it. Please work. So it was like last time they failed. Okay, that, that that's a good sign. That the tower is doing something. Yep, I think it's working. Yep, that's definitely working this time around. Enough to kill them. Oh, what's going on? Tears have been conquered. Oh, we won. Unified at last under a single banner. Your edict brings devastation and ruin to the Northern Empire. Okay, good. Some believe the edict to be Kairos's work. Seriously? Others hope or fear that this edict comes from a new voice. Yeah, it does. Me. Kairos's forces withdraw from their march upon the tears, nice. as they are sent into disarray by your. Oh yeah. No, what happened? The game in my eyes. I think that. Banner. The tearsmen are reborn as your loyal servants, bound to you by fear and shared victory. Yes. The Overlord's conquest of the known world has come to a halt, and the whisper of a challenger to Kairos's power. Slowly spreads throughout the land. So I'm a challenger, so he's not dead. So there's gonna be a lot more to go then, isn't there? I've got to read this, okay. And again, there's someone stomping above. Sorry about that. Can't do anything about it. Okay. Your edict of fire ignites an unstoppable kind of location in the northern capital, reducing buildings to cinders and sending walls of fire through the population streets. Populated streets. Before anyone knew what was happening, the flames had already burned out of control. All who suffer cry out in agony and confusion that characters would allow such a fate to befall their city. Oh yeah, no choice. It is powerful people make out. So I'm assuming after this... So I thought the game would get near the end because obviously we still got to face Karos. So I'm just basically devastating his armies. I think this was basically telling me. And then hopefully we go to one on one with him and finish the game. As Karos is assured in the Northern Kingdom, as Chaos, sorry, assured in the Northern Kingdom, the armies marching on the tears received an unprecedented order. The armies were to fall back to the capital and ensure the safety of its people from the edict. So in other words, I don't even have a real army and I'm. <laughs> and they just ran. But I did think it minimised why. The cutscene was playing, but I think the, the recording stuff would still record it for you, so hopefully you've got the full thing then. But when it maximised, I think it's just said basically I united the tears and joined my banner, so I have my own army now. But I, I might have missed that because it was rather tight minimised. Okay, but if it is, then I got an army to fight back there. Running army. So fingers crossed it is what it said. 
The armies were to fall back in the capital and assure the safety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the first time in Carus's great conquest, the armies retreated. Soon questions would be asked in a hushed breath across the land about what new and terrible power had emerged that could force the hand of the overlord. <laughs> you fulfilled Carus's decree and all the tears is now ruled by a single archive. Your former rivals have either submitted to you or perished, bringing this civil war to a close. So yeah, they are under me or they're dead. Nice. In their pride, as favoured, never imagined themselves beaten. As in their pride, they never imagined themselves beaten. What do you mean? They literally just crumbled. I destroyed them. Especially when their opponents appeared so disorganised. The last remnants of the legion dispensed. Their general destroyed. Yeah, well, because he got cocky. So he had a whole army there. He could have rushed me. and said, no, you four take him on. You three take him on. I'm going to have him on this. I'll take you on. And just let the rest of his army, like 12, 20 people standing there, just watch him down. Like. And then, of course, when he died, they all perished and died. Idiot. As remnants of the Legion Spans, the general destroyed their honour broken beyond mending. The score that follows their humbled ranks haunts them even to the depths of obscurity. Okay, they literally collapsed when he died, like that was keeping him alive, so how's any left? It's got a chorus true to form, were quick to change alliances from the voice of Nir voice of Nirit died. They pledged their devotion to you. Thank you. That's what I thought and wanted them to do, but at the time they just kinda of ran and do it. Hoping to gain your favour in the months following your victory. Members of the surviving gang bosses present offerings and totems of fertility, but without a devoted uh, taskmaster to keep them in line, their flimsy power structure collapsed, reducing the Scarlet Chorus to a whisper of the former Of course. Under your guidance, those who re resisted the conquest and sold discontent are vanquished. Their rebellion brought to a decisive end and any lingering questions of who is the true ruler of the tears is answered by your impact on the reconstructed nation. Word of your success spreads beyond the tears as well, even the most distant corners of the empire whispers of the faith binder who rose to become an archive and an archive whose intervention shattered the conquest, making way for a new future in a devastated nation. While you managed to unite the tears under a single banner, though, through conquest, losing the support of the Overlord's armies makes the work of maintaining this order all the more difficult. Lotus weaken and slip, but you make a point of taking a personal hand in the country's new governance. After time and struggle, the tearsmen begin to see themselves as citizens of a unified land. Okay, that's good then. With the Edict of Stone dispelled, the earth settles settles around the stone sea, ushering a new age of vagrant growth vagrant, well, that word is, and prosperity. The country may never resemble the glorious realm of Asha, but with new life, many new things become possible. Well, at least he voiced this end part. The memory of Karen as a great force of destruction remains as a monument of interred rock. Most agree the world is better off without the Arcade of Stone as the people of Arsat begin to slowly reclaim the land that was once torn asunder by his power. With the Edict of Stone dispelled, you ensure that humans will once again populate the former realm of Arsat. The Stone Stalkers tribe is gradually pushed out of their, of their new territory and no... Yeah, pushed out of their new territory. I thought that didn't make sense, pushed out of the new territory. Uh, and those who don't resist are enslaved, but to work rebuilding new human settlements. Put to work, not but to work. Put to work rebuilding new human settlements. The death of Ranix is a huge blow to the disfavoured. Without the support of the Mage Guild, the Legion finds itself outclassed for the first time and suffers on the battlefield. Legion? Who's the Legion? Is it? It's not my people, is it? I hope it's not. With the unbroken all but destroyed, oh, it's unbroken, okay. The former citizens of Styrwood threatened to slide into lawlessness. Carousel's forces stationed at Sentinel Stand managed to quill the worst of the uprising, but peace under the nation's new leadership is resisted in every turn. Yeah. You put Alamor's daughter of Caravan Ash to the sword and left her child at Sentinel Stand. In doing so, you left the child's fate to the hands of unknown forces. The future that lies beyond their mercy you showed, that a defenseless child will only be revealed with time. Oh, okay. So I actually did let the kids alive. 
The Edict of Storms continues to rage across the war-torn remains of the Blade Grave, while it treated as an unhabitable wasteland that former citizens of Star Wars make for any territory that will have them. They wander the tears as refugees, their pride and dignity wore down by the same earls that claim their homeland. You, you played the sensor game and emerged victorious. Sensor's game, retrieving the silent archive from the Valum Sudel. Uh, when asked to turn it over, you decided it was better off in your possession. Instead, you sent the sensor to Cafalon as a gift for the voices of Nerat. <laughs> and I killed him. Uh. When you handed the Valum Sudel to Scarlet Corrors, you considered centuries of knowledge to the, the pitless treatment of marauding gangs. There is no telling how much history and lore the invalid hands ripped from the world. You only know that the Scarlet Chorus took pleasure in their work. Mm. I need them on my side at the time, so. The sages are all but wiped from the tears. What remains of their hoarded knowledge is vulnerable, as likely to be misused as destroyed. The damage done to the electrical core the intelligible core of the region is likely beyond reversal. Reversal through small groups of would-be scholars gain influence from time to time. The setback is ultimately too fast to overcome. Without inference, inf interference from outside forces, Laverne's crossing flanders under the control of Bronze Brotherhood. What was once a thriving centre of commands for the tears quickly devolves into lawless town uh, parole by mercenary and folks. Okay, that's that thing when I tried to go on a side quest wasn't it? And I needed to um, kill that guy and I couldn't find him. So I couldn't do that. Okay, back. I had to cut that off. Doggy was scratching. I think someone that got on that, but I tried to cut the rest out. You attempted to direct the B-word wound community via occasional visits and regular misses. What do you mean, kids? I wiped them out. Except for one, apparently. The settlement's remoteness and the necessities of your prominent position doom your efforts to fail without your guidance, the wound slowly turns on itself. Why? There's nobody left. The trolls go unled and food without water and tension rises. Some leave, some die, and some struggle on. But no one leaves a constant. Like, well, I tried to wipe them out and it just couldn't find the last person. It's like one person apparently can't handle it at all. So he's only dead anyways. Well, that's not my point. By entering the edict on villains as well, you announced your power to the world and showed Karen's forces what you were capable of. When you defeated their leader and scratched the army, Scattered the army, I scratched it. <laughs> I scattered, scratched the army. I scattered the army before you. It sent the message to Carousers. A new archive is born while the edict of suspenses. Its effect will always be felt as the first true threat to current rule. The death of Graven Ashes means the end of disfavoured. Without the comfort and support of the great general, what remains of the Legion sinks into hopelessness. He's gone through this bit before that. They've already fallen apart. The archive seats seat is left vacant and whenever or not it can be occupied again is a heated topic. Far from the, the, his place of final rest, the Northern Empire mourns its fallen sun. Killing the voices of Nerat spreads the joy of bloody vengeance across the continent. Celebrations as the death of history's greatest parasite. The occasion is marked by all who suffered under the pressure of the Scarlet Chorus, even in victory. One uh, for nags you. Through you witness his death, you can't help but wonder if the voice of the narrative is done with you. I don't know. With the death of Tunin, the Ardicator, the Beward City fret threatens to slide back into its lawless ways, keeping the peace and imposing a new definition of order. Uh, commands all of your forces. You lean to delegate the responsibilities to a new court of faith binders who lighten the burden and make the arc in absence a manageable setback. The death of Blood and Mark deprived the world of the most capable murderer. Oh yeah, that's the assassin guy, wasn't he? He tried to kill me at the end. One less bedtime story to scare children is no significant loss. Though you can't help but glance at the dark corners of every room and feel as if something is watching you. Blood and Mark will always cast a long shadow on your life. The death of Graven Ashes left Bark a shadow of his former self. Oh, I didn't care about him anyway. He was an idiot and he barely did nothing to help. Uh, for myself, he follows you for a time as much out of habit as reflex. Well, he didn't do much in the campaign. All agree that there is nothing of him left under the iron shell. He departs your company without a word, assuming position at the crossroads where he allows himself to rust as a solid, as a, any statue. Well, screw you, good for you. I'll be ending for him. Okay, let's see. Where, now she cared about her, didn't we? In the absence of the violence of Nerad, the need to avenge your fallen sisters, first discover something akin to contentment. For a time, you find her high atop your spire, face turned towards the horizon with eyes closed against the wind that ruffles the feathers in her hair. It doesn't last. This disappears from your surface? Seriously? 
without a farewell when she returns a month later she is trailed by a de de departed gang of young women recruited from every corner of the tea that she came back farmers merchants and former nobles hungry for greatness all pledged to study the bloody lessons versus to impact her new college sisterhood grows slowly compared to the chorus but each member makes up makes of violence and memorizing dance. Soon Verse and her candidate kind of become the most feared of your enforcers. Oh, she's because achieving an opening almost akin to their blunt mark. Ah, nice. So let's see what that well. Okay, what about you? End up again for you in the end. Lara keeps a close watch over you, scribbling his account of your deeds and accomplishments. In his tireless quest to fill the chronicle with history and knowledge, he follows you even into the twilight years, and together you learn much about the world. You pretend not to notice Larry's uh, warning, waning strength, through you find yourself pausing mid-sentence to let his writing catch up. He recognises your generous ruse, ruse, generous ruse and appreciates it in his silence. In one fell, so basically we became good friends with him, it seems. In one fell swoop, you ended the life of the last tie caster. Oh, her uh, here. Yeah. In order to, that's when I kicked off this top one at Terrorism. Her, her power and legacy was yet another casualty to the conquest of tears. Killing Shadows, we cared for her, hopefully, and she cared for me, but hopefully not too much. Killing Shadows shows little interest in cleaning up the tears after your victory. Instead, she takes it upon herself to hunt down every disfavoured soldier in the country. Oh, any that's left, good for you. Uh, like to share the hobby. You hear frequent word on Maulings as appearances among characters' ranks, uh, presumed by a beast of legendary freshness. Through you could not, no doubt, track down your werewolf companion. You let her continue the bloody work out of equal parts respect and fear. Where's the fear from? Oh, well, she basically did nothing. Sound grows quiet over time, speaking little and foregoing her songs as she distances herself from your military. One day, she simply walks out of camp and makes for the wilderness of the tears. Rumours reach your ear that Sarah has occupied an abandoned Mantiside temple. Her vow of silence during a small group of respectful followers, you leave her in peace. Yeah, she didn't do nothing anyway. Through you once uh, professed, loyalty to Carson, popular belief holds that... The world cannot support two overlords, and you now represent a threat to the established order. This leaves your future in question, with but one certainty. When characters retaliate, you'll be ready. Yeah, what do you mean? I mean, it's in question. I already sent him packing once. I can do it again. I took all these top people out. From your perch atop the, uh, the ancient spire, you can see hints of the Northern Empire just beyond the mountains at your command. Horns sh uh, shout a triumph cry across the uh, valley. Uh, hurdling, heldling, sorry, the end of a long campaign and the beginning of another. Oh, so now we're going to face him one on one, are we? Or is the game just going to end? Credits, it is. So, in other words, they left it open for a sequel, and I think this game did actually do very well, so we ain't going to get one. What's well, kind of sad, because that was a good game. Hell a lot longer than I thought. Like I said, when it came out, I believed, you know, everyone's in ah, six hours complete. Yeah, six hours, six hours. What oh, am I, 50, 60 into this? So no, it does not take sell. Maybe 60 hours is more like it. Yeah, I can't believe I've done this. It'll take me 187 episodes to do. It was a good game. I did enjoy it. There's times when I was a bit frustrated. There's times when I really enjoyed it. There's times when I was a bit bland. Times when it was great. Overall, if you like RPGs, I think it is worth getting. Definitely enjoyed it more than disenjoyed, that's for sure. Same the word, disenjoyed it. We don't say it. Yeah, another one of my series finished. Obviously, I originally started this because I thought it was going to be six hours. I was going to do six hours, finish it in the evil, and then go back and do it as a good character. But 60, 78 hours, I don't really want to do that now. Unless you really, really, really love people, like, really go back and play it again and play a good character, play a good character. If if I get enough people, enough, you know, did, did this, you know, enough subscribers, enough likes, enough people wanting that, I might do that. But failing that, I'm now done with the series now. Like I said, my next one, I'm going to go back and finish Tomix. I think I'm near the end of that too. Well, like in Wasteland. And then I'm thinking of doing a new series of Plenty of Alation, what I know people want to see. I have a request for that one. And this one's quite good because basically I planned to do this for about three weeks. I had five episodes pre done when I went into my new system, uh, my new uh, setup of my channel, you know, my new layout. And then obviously last yesterday, no not yesterday, last week I did six, so five, and I'm doing five a, a day each week at the moment. So that's five, and then I did a six, and I've just literally done the six for today. So I've hit just basically three weeks, and it's completed, so that's awesome. 
So now I'm free to move on to, to, to Wasteland of Torment. I think I might go to, to Wasteland next. And if I complete that in, a, say, six episodes, then I'll do Torment and then we'll do Platinum Nation. If it takes two to three weeks, I might just go back to Platinum Nation and do Torment after. I have to say. Because I've not really gotten much over them for Platinum Annihilation. Much people like, I want you to do Divinity, I want you to do this, I want you to do this. It's mainly Platinum Annihilation right now. Seems to be what the, most people seem to be saying. So anyway. Um, I guess we're just, I guess we can speed this up a little bit. There we go. Ooh, 16. 32. Holy fudge. That's a fantastic goal, 32. So please like, please subscribe, please tune next time. I've been Abitobi. Have a great one day out there, if you haven't already. And watch more stuff on the channel. Go back and watch it from episode 1 all the way through. 187 episodes! When this goes up, I'll try to make sure they're on the playlist then. Uh, so, like, subscribe, and see you next time. Thank you very much. Really appreciate you watching. You've been awesome. Subscribe to the channel, put comments. What do you think of the Hook This series? Watch more of my series. What do you want to see? That sort of stuff. Thank you very much. And share this video. And share everything else on the channel. See you next time. Bye, everybody.